audio check. Check. Okay. Can I just apologise for my hair? It's very large right now and I'm struggling to control it. So I am going to get it cut later on, so just, you know. So this video won't come out for a couple of weeks though, so probably have grown back by then. Hello everyone and welcome to the 10th Ramen Talk. The 10th. Can you believe this? It's been 10 months since I started doing Ramen Talk. 10 months. It's just ridiculous, isn't it? I've never done anything this long before on this channel. Grow. This time we're only having one ramen. I did say two, didn't I? But I need another one for next time. Um, because the time after that will be the 12th one, which marks a year since I've started it. And we're going to definitely do something special for that. I said we're going to do something special for this one. And the thing that I'm doing special for this one is mentioning it. Tenth one, very special. So I thought I'd go for the one that looks the nicest out of the two a message and um we are going to be trying this ramen today so you'll you remember this ramen from like four or five of them ago and um this is the same brand as the garlic one i tried ufo um and that was freaking delicious and except this one's spicy flavor i'm a bit weirded out because the noodles look the same color as the garlic one Looks like they don't look spicy, do they? They look savoury. Um, again, I like the method of this, this nice little black container. Um, so, you know, let's give them a go. Oh, I need to show you something. I need to show you something. I recently purchased this online because I eat um, nowadays. Now that I know how to make it. A lot of kimchi fried rice and just rice in general. Because um, rice is becoming my obsession. So I bought a little set. Because you know in Korea and in Asian countries they have spoon, like wooden spoons that you eat like soup with or specifically rice. So I bought one because like, I need one and it came in this little bag. There's also a fork and some chopsticks in here. So, um, hello, I had to buy it. I won't use them today because, you know. But I'm thinking that for the 12th one, the year after the one, the one that's gonna mark a year since I've started this, that I'll, instead of eating some ramen, I'll have some like cake or something, I'm thinking, so, you know. Um, right, so, what was I doing? Oh yes, I was going to eat it. <laughs> right, let's try it. Mmm, looks delish. It doesn't smell spicy at all. I bet it'll be bloody mega hot. I haven't got any water either, so great. I would say does just something wrong, but like, it's only ramen. <laughs> I don't think I did anything wrong. Okay, here's the gist. Mega nice. Nice and savoury, like last time. It tastes quite similar to the, one, the garlic one. I really like these style of noodles, they're not the, really, not the egg one. I don't know whether they're egg noodles, but like the thin, the really thin ones. I really like those style of noodles. Um, and 
I don't get much spice though. <laughs> Tastes quite garlicky, a bit spicy, a bit savoury is the only way I can describe it, but that's about it. I mean, I added all the sauce packets. I don't know why, because I just have high expectations of spice in, in like ramen and Asian stuff now because of that first ever Samyang hot chicken ramen I tried and it nearly killed me. So, and my intolerance to spice has gone up over the years. So maybe it's just not spicy to me, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to eat it all because it's my lunch and also because it's nice. Let's crack on with the things to talk about. I don't know what accent that was. Um, right, so, a few things to mention first. Not that many things K-pop related in this one, I'm afraid. I know I'm letting all of you down. I'm really sorry about that. I, I would, I'm gonna go back and reflect on myself later. But we have other things to talk about. I'm crying for some reason. It's because I'm not talking about K-pop, that's probably why. Um, so the first, oh, I've just got my list, I've took my list away. The first thing I want to talk about is um, Squid Game. So, as you're all aware, Squid Game did not drop recently. It dropped like, when did it drop? September 17th. And I would say over the last couple of weeks, um, it gained popularity. So it was out for like a week, I'd say, before it started gaining popularity. And people are bloody obsessed over it now. <laughs> I haven't watched it yet because I'm currently watching something on Disney Plus called The Strain, which is really good. Um, so once I finish that, I'll start Squid Game. Um, but it's kind of annoying me a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, because um, like literally everyone is obsessed with it. And it's like to the point where people are going, oh my God, I didn't know like Korean or foreign things and movies and TV shows could be this good. And it's just annoying me because people didn't give a crap about that before. And now suddenly everyone's watching it and now everyone's got to watch it. And now everyone's suddenly become liking to the idea of watching foreign things. It's so annoying because you just know, you, you just know 100% if that was something like a Korean drama that was, wasn't that wasn't like everyone was watching it. They wouldn't bother watching it, would they? They wouldn't. For example, the Dalgona Candy. That's been around for ages. K-pop stars have been making that and trying that for ages. But now because it's in a, a TV show that millions of people watch because all the other people watch, it's going viral. By the way, I will have to make that because I want to try and make it. Um, so it's just a little bit annoying albeit I'm happy for Korea because they get more exposure. Um, and also it does look like a really good series so I'm going to watch it obviously. But it's just, don't, don't you think it's a little, as, P, as someone who um, appreciates the culture and like re takes a real keen interest in it, it's just a bit annoying that people are being sheep, basically. Do you know what I mean? Like, people are suddenly finding it so interesting just because there's a TV show that's gone viral. Like, take an interest. Take an interest in other people's culture. And I know you're thinking, well, there's loads of other countries other than Korea. I know that and I'm completely open and willing to, to take an interest in other cultures. Mainly it's gonna be through food, I would say, or music, because um, I like food and music. Um, and it just so happens that Korea has two really nice ones. But do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just annoying. Like, I'm happy that Squid Game is a thing. I'm happy that people are taking more of an interest, but it's just annoying that suddenly that it's so... I, like, I'm not one of these people that will watch something because everyone else watches it. You know what I mean? 
Like, I'll be, I will watch it. I'm gonna watch it because it looks interesting to me. But I don't know why, I just really hate that mentality. I hate the mentality of someone watching something just because, just because everyone else is watching it. Like, watch it because you actually want to watch it. Do you know what I mean? That's the point I'm trying to get across here. It is really nice. So recently, obviously, we've been watching the Bake Off. Because <laughs> we're all Bake Off stands here because obviously I like to bake. Um, this year, um, they filled it with people who have unpronounceable names. I called Jerzino, Cherzino for the last two weeks because I can't not. Also, Rochica. Chiggs, I'm sure that's not his real name. What's Chiggs' real name? Um, I honestly, I like him, but I don't get the Jurgen hype. I don't get it. He's just a man. <laughs> yes, he's got big bushy eyebrows and he closely resembles Winnie the Pooh, but it's just, just Jurgen, isn't it? <coughs> Jurgen Klopp, as I call him. Also, that show, Murder Island, started last night, and I haven't seen it yet, and I want to watch that. Murder Island, is that Murder Island? Where it's like a reality show, but someone's murdered. Not really murdered, but you know what I mean? Also, I want to talk about is the Super Mario movie. Did they learn nothing from the old Super Mario movie, which was absolutely an abomination? Like, I'm really scared because you've got Chris Pratt, excellent actor, and your Tyler Joy, excellent actress. Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. Jack Black as Bowser. This is either going to be really good or so incredibly bad. It was um, a little bit comforting, I would say, to, to find out that it's an animated um, film and not a live action. I think a live action would be um, horrid to look at. <laughs> um, so I'm glad this animated and I think hopefully it will lean towards being a good film. Well, I said that Tom and Jerry was a good film, but it wasn't. <laughs> I have to get these again, they are dead nice things are. Oh, the fuel crisis at the moment. Oh my God. This is why I hate people. This is why I really, really, really hate people. So much. So we have um, zero fuel shortages. Well, before the crisis. Had zero fuel shortage, shortage, shortages at all. Um, not really a driver shortage. Like there was a few that were not like there, but there was not really a driver shortage. Um, and then one like newspaper decides to print that like what five out of thousands of SO garages have shut down, and all of a sudden everyone's panicking. Oh, it's just so annoying. You've got people stopping at the petrol station to fill up like a million jerry cans. Why? There is no fuel shortage. And now there is because you filled up all your millions of jerry cans. Look at my hair, my god, you can only describe it as Bob Ross, can't you? Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, well look, just why? Why have you done that? There's gonna be people that can't get petrol now. It's so annoying. I can't deal with it. It's just the same as panic buying, isn't it? You're panic buying petrol. I mean, it's, it's like as stupid as panic buying cars, isn't it? Like if someone says, oh, there's a shortage on car manufacturer labor. And then everyone decides to buy like 70 cars because they're worried they're not going to be able to get a car. No, don't. It's so 
And the worst thing is nothing you can do to stop it. If, once it's out there in the press, there's nothing you can do to stop it. Because people will happily listen to something like that, that there's a shortage of something. But then when they say, oh, there isn't, they'll be like, well, just in case. No, stop. Hi, everyone. Except for people watching this video, obviously. Which brings me to my last topic before we talk about K-pop comebacks. So, I'm filming this on Wednesday, the 6th of October. Monday, the 4th of October. Facebook, Instagram, and its platforms, including WhatsApp, went down. And apparently that meant it was the end of the world. I missed that memo. Um, I check Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, I do use WhatsApp for some things. Um, I check them every day. Was I crying about it? No. I mean, it says something when a platform like Facebook, albeit not the greatest platform in the first place, um, goes down for what, like five or six hours? And it causes anarchy and chaos on the internet. I completely understand the people that have made their living on Facebook or living on, uh, people who are Instagrammers or Facebookers because you've lost like your main source of income. Yeah, I get that. But like everyone else who just uses it normally. Why, 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 why are you so aggy about it? It says something about us as a race, doesn't it? That we're so gripped by social media nowadays that it goes down for a few hours and it's like the world's ended. And then you actually crashed, we qua crashed Twitter because we couldn't look at Facebook and Instagram, so we decided to all look at Twitter. Like, I don't believe that all of you out there that did that didn't think to yourself, this is silly. And you probably yet still did it. By the way, I finished. Because it was just so bloody nice, I finished. Not really that spicy, I'm not gonna lie, but it was really delicious, I'm having it. Uh, but why, why, why? It says, um, during a routine maintenance job, Facebook engineers issued a command that unintentionally took down all the connections in its network, effectively disconnecting Facebook data centers globally. How do you, how do, you do that unintentionally, how? I also think it's funny because like, they've um, blamed it on configuration changes. Um, on the backbone routers. No one apart from like really tech savvy people are gonna know what that means, okay? I mean, granted, a lot of people aren't gonna care why it happened, but like, how about you say, oh, this happened, like people, so people can understand what actually happened. Why did we all, why? Why did we all panic? Why? Why do we panic as a nation, like a intonation? Why do we panic as the human race was born to panic? Why? It's so annoying. I want to move on from this annoying topic and carry on talking about K-pop. Come back, come back. La -de -da -de -de -da -de -da -de -da -da. I'm just gonna go for mid September. So, like, Luna had a Japanese debut. <gasps> Have you heard about Luna? Block, but I'm sure we've had this discussion before. We block very creative that they're having financial difficulties, but now it's actually transpires that it could negatively impact Luna. Sort them out because Luna are great. You cannot lose Luna. Hello. Do something. Mama Moo, the best. Don't need to say anymore. There's a whole video on it. Obsessed is the wrong word to use. NCT sticker. 
Can we all agree that it's really rubbish? Like, I'm sorry, it sounds like a collection of people playing instruments badly. That's what it sounds like. And go and listen to it and you'll think, oh my God, it does. I want to know who makes the songs, because if it's them, stop them. Because, <laughs> you know, Kick It, I'm going to lie, Kick It was a really good song. Punch was like, well, and then obviously the, the NCT 2020 thing, which had some good songs, and then um, was Sticker, and you thought, okay, you've run out of ideas, haven't you? You have run out of ideas, haven't you? Um, what else? Um, Itsy, oh my God, Loco is so amazing. And then you've got people coming for them, saying that they've gone downhill since Wannabe. I don't know what you're listening to, but Loco is right up there with every other title track, in my opinion. So, you know, jog on. Um, BTS and Coldplay came back with my universe. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't write that song at all. Um, who else? Who else? Why is my page just refreshed? Who else? Who else? Um, mm, AB6 came back with Cherry. Cypher came back. I liked their song Blind. That was a good song. Um, Hot Issue came back, I like their song. Ariaz did a single, it's a remake of Jewelry's song, Hot and Cold, I liked that. And then we've got, obviously, October, so we've got Twice, obviously. Can't not mention Twice. Twice. Also, Way came back as well. Um, twice, 1st of October, The Feels. I mean, it's just perfect, isn't it, song? In my opinion, now obviously I'm a once and I don't really like BTS that much. So I'm gonna say this. It's my opinion though, so ARMY's back off. I think TWICE has the superior English song. I don't know how far you got into that. So, I said uh, the feels was great. So they even blessed us with two remixes and I even like the Eve's, Eve's V remix and like almost more than the actual song. Um, that's Golden Child came back yesterday. Uh, Young Jay came back. Oh my god, Young Jay with his album Colours from Arc. And then finally, yesterday, Esper came back with the third single. It was actually the first mini album, but the third comeback. Savage, which follows the same pattern, I'd say, as uh, Next Level, as in you go. What the hell is this song to start off with? Then you go, oh my God, this is really good. And then it completely changes to a different song and you're obsessed with it. And like quite literally all of the songs on their mini album are like that. So, but it was amazing and I bloody love it. Okay, what else? Okay, so we've got Pixie coming back so, uh, on the 7th. Um, Tribe on the 12th. I'm bloody excited for Tribe. So excited. And Hypen coming back on the 12th as well. Lightsome are coming back on the 13th and Stray Kids are releasing their Japanese album, single album, Scars. I'm pretty sure Scars is already out there. I haven't listened to it yet though. Kingdom's coming back on the 21st. Seventeen is coming back on the 22nd. Apex on the 26th. And we've also got Hwasa, who is, <coughs> I'm choking. I'm nothing. Hwasa coming back soon. And Bugaboo's debut, debut, which I'm excited about. Um, also, I'm told that Black Swan are coming back, and I'm excited about that because I like Black Swan. Lots of comebacks to look forward to, and that is it for this ramen talk. I highly recommend this. This was lovely. As usual, the camera cut off seconds before I was finished. And um, I'm gonna go now, and um, that did not fill me up at all, so I'm gonna probably eat some more and listen to the feels. And also need to go and get my hair cut, so just look at it, look at it. The only way I can describe my hair is after, after it's dried and after I've had a shower is Bob Ross. That's how I get called Bob Ross by my family members and it's really annoying. While well, I, was, I was cursed with the world's thickest hair, which is probably why my eyebrows are so thick in hindsight, but um, I'm gonna go and takes like three kilograms off my head, okay. <laughs>